Good morning. Today we will be doing the testing for cations in which we will use two reagents sodium hydroxide and ammonia or ammonium hydroxide solutions to test the metal ions present in the given solutions. So the first, in the first test tube I will be taking the solution given to me, unknown solution and then add a few drops of sodium hydroxide. Drop by drop. Okay, so as you add drop by drop, you can see a white gelatinous precipitate being formed. A white gelatinous precipitate. And then you have to add excess and see what happens to the precipitate. Sometimes the precipitate remains, sometimes the precipitate can dissolve and here you see that when I am adding excess of sodium hydroxide to this solution it is completely dissolving. Okay, And I will repeat the same experiment for the solution with ammonium hydroxide. So first I will take a few drop, a few of the given solution, add ammonia, aqueous ammonia. Again drop by drop. You can see the precipitate is being formed, a white gelatinous precipitate. And then I will add excess of ammonia to the solution to see if the precipitate dissolves in excess. So here it is dissolving but very slowly. So let me add a little more of that reagent to see if the precipitate is completely soluble. So the precipitate is still remaining but in the case of sodium hydroxide you find that the precipitate has completely dissolved but in the case of ammonium hydroxide the precipitate is partially soluble. So we can conclude that the metal ion present in the given solution is aluminium. Al3 plus ion is present in this given solution. Now let's take the next solution given to us. About 2 cm cube of the given solution is taken to test for the metal ion present. Add a few drops of sodium hydroxide initially and you can see a white cur curdy precipitate, a thick white precipitate is formed. And when I add excess of sodium hydroxide, the precipitate remains, it is insoluble in excess. I repeat the same with ammonium hydroxide, I take about 2 cm cube of the given solution, add ammonium hydroxide drop by drop and then in excess no precipitate formed here. Okay, So if you are getting a white precipitate with sodium hydroxide and in excess the precipitate is insoluble but when you add ammonium solution it is not giving any precipitate then you can conclude that the given precipitate is calcium hydroxide form and the calcium metal is, metal ion is present in the given solution. Okay.
the next solution a few drops we don't know what the solution is we have to find out what is the metal ion present in this given solution so when i add a few drops of sodium hydroxide I get a blue green precipitate in excess this precipitate is insoluble yeah it's dissolving you can see the precipitate dissolves and you get a clear green solution okay I repeat this experiment with ammonium hydroxide again taking a few drops of ammonium hydroxide and I get again a blue green precipitate adding excess ammonium the precipitate is insoluble in excess ammonia the precipitate remains so you can make a comparison between the two when you add a few drops of sodium hydroxide you got a precipitate there and the precipitate dissolves in excess ammonia uh, excess sodium hydroxide to give a clear solution a clear green solution is formed and in the case of ammonium hydroxide the precipitate does not dissolve and it remains so we can conclude that the given ion in the solution is that of chromium ion cr3 plus so the next a uh, given solution we take 2 cm cube of the given solution and test it with sodium hydroxide by adding a few drops of sodium hydroxide and you see a uh, blue precipitate is being formed and when you add more sodium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide in excess you find that the precipitate remains there is no change to that it is insoluble the precipitate is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide i repeat the same with taking 2 cm cube of the given solution and testing it with ammonium hydroxide i add a few drops of ammonium hydroxide here and there is the formation of a light blue precipitate okay as you add more of the ammonium hydroxide drop by drop the color of the precipitate is becoming darker and let's see what happens when you are adding this in excess ammonium hydroxide in excess when you add you get a deep blue solution the precipitate dissolves giving a deep blue solution so you can conclude that the metal ion present in this given solution is copper cu2+ ions with sodium hydroxide copper gives a light blue precipitate which is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide whereas in the case of ammonium hydroxide when you add drop by drop you are getting a light blue precipitate and as you add excess ammonium hydroxide the precipitate is dissolving in excess of ammonium hydroxide giving a deep blue solution so the copper ion is present in the given solution you can conclude by the observations that you make let's take the next solution so to the given solution which is slightly um, yellow in color you add a few drops of sodium hydroxide okay you get a green precipitate a dark green precipitate and when you add in excess sodium hydroxide the precipitate is insoluble 
So it's a dark green precipitate. Let's see with what happens with when we test the same solution with ammonium hydroxide. So add a few drops of ammonium hydroxide. Again, you're getting the precipitate, dark green precipitate. Okay, and you add excess of ammonium hydroxide. The precipitate is insoluble in excess. So in the case of sodium hydroxide and in the case of Ammonium hydroxide, the given solution is giving a green precipitate which is insoluble in excess of the reagents and you can conclude that the metal ion present in this solution is the ferrous ion or Fe2+. Okay, the next given solution is dark and it is a brown color. To this, when I add a few drops of sodium hydroxide, you can see a beautiful reddish brown precipitate being formed. So the precipitate formed here is a reddish brown color. And as you add excess, you observe that the precipitate is insoluble in excess. I repeat that with the same solution, I will be adding sodium uh, ammonium hydroxide. A few drops of ammonium hydroxide, again a reddish brown precipitate. Excess of the ammonium hydroxide to be added to see whether the precipitate is dissolving or not. And you find that when you add excess, the precipitate does not dissolve. So in both the cases, when you are adding drop by drop the reagents of sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide, you get a reddish brown precipitate. And when you add excess of the reagents, the precipitate is insoluble. So by the color of the precipitate, you can identify the metal ion present as Fe3 plus or ferric ions present in the given solution. So let's continue with our testing of ions present in given solutions. So the next solution, taking two centimeter cube of the next solution and testing with a few drops of sodium hydroxide again a gelatinous white precipitate is formed and when I add excess of sodium hydroxide to this The precipitate is insoluble in excess, a thick precipitate there. To the same solution, I'll be taking again 2 cm cube of the given solution and add ammonium hydroxide to it. again a thick gelatinous precipitate is observed and when I add excess of ammonia remains. It is insoluble in excess. So you see with the few drops of sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide a thick precipitate is formed and when you add excess of the reagents the precipitate is insoluble 
so we can conclude that the given precipitate contain formed contains the zinc ions the zinc ions are present in the given solution a clear solution and asked to find the ion present in the given solution uh, the test that i am going to carry out is that for ammonium ions so i will be looking for ammonia gas being evolved when i take a few centimeter cube of the given solution and add sodium hydroxide so to the given solution i will add sodium hydroxide and then got to heat this solution so when i heat this solution there will be the evolution of ammonia gas which is a basic gas so i will be testing for the ammonia gas using the red litmus paper the litmus paper has to be moistened you cannot use the dry litmus paper it will not give you any positive results to get a positive result using litmus paper you got to moisten the litmus paper and then hold it to the mouth of the test tube and heat the solution so as i heat this solution mixture i hold the litmus paper to the mouth of the test tube like that you can see the vapors formed a gas is being evolved and the color of the litmus is changing from red to blue which is a clear indication that ammonia gas is getting evolved in the reaction so i can conclude that the given solution has ammonium ions present because ammonia gas is getting evolved when you are heating the solution mixed with sodium hydroxide